Hello and welcome to another reading from the book That I May Know Him, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Pledge of Divine Power, December 4th. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Acts 1 8. On the day of Pentecost, the Infinite One revealed Himself in power to the Church. By His Holy Spirit, He descended from the heights of heaven as a rushing mighty wind to the room in which the disciples were assembled. Words of penitence and confession of sin were mingled with songs of praise for sins forgiven. Words of thanksgiving and of prophecy were heard. All heaven was bending low to behold and adore the wisdom of matchless, incomprehensible love. The apostles and disciples were lost in wonder and exclaimed, Herein is love. They grasped the imparted gift. Their hearts were surcharged with a benevolence so full, so deep, so far-reaching, that it impelled them to go to the ends of the earth, testifying, God forbid that we should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. They were filled with an intense longing to add to the church such as should be saved. As the disciples went forth to proclaim the gospel, filled with the power of the Spirit, so God's servants are to go forth today. All around us are fields white unto the harvest. These fields are to be reaped. We are to take up the work filled with an unselfish desire to give the message of mercy to those who are in the darkness of error and unbelief. God will move on the hearts of believers to carry forward His work to the regions beyond. The Lord God is bound by an eternal pledge to supply power and grace to everyone who is sanctified through obedience to the truth. Jesus Christ, to whom is given all power in heaven and on earth, unites in sympathy with his instrumentalities, the earnest souls who day by day partake of the living bread which cometh down from heaven. John 6.33 The church on earth, united with the church in heaven, can accomplish all things. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to come back tomorrow to listen to another reading from the book that I may know him. Be encouraged.